So I went to go see Nightcrawler. It has Jake Gyllenhaal as the sole lead, but there's also Riz Ahmed, Bill Paxton, and Rene Russo in some solid supporting roles. It's written and directed by Dan Gilroy. Now, this is his first time directing anything, but in the past he's been the writer on things like Two for the Money, Free Jack, and The Fall. Now, to the consternation of more than a few, I expect, this movie is not about the Marvel character Nightcrawler. It's about a man named Louis Bloom. Now, Louis Bloom is a thief and a sociopath. In the opening scene, he's stealing copper wire from a construction site. Uh, for money, and when he's confronted by a security guard, he beats the man probably to death for his watch. Of course, Louis Bloom is also really driven, he wants a good job, and he wants to be at the very top of his field. He introduced this guy to something called nightcrawling, which, in the context of this film, and possibly in real life, is people who sit around in cars or vans at night, listen to police band radio for violent, uh, violent crashes, uh, police shootouts, what have you, and they rush to the scenes and film them, and then they sell those clips to the TV news for money. Now on top of that, the news channel that Bloom decides to sell to is kind of treated like a sociopath itself. It doesn't really care about the news and informing people or anything like that. It really cares just more about showing these violent, disturbing images that these, um, these nightcrawlers bring in and pumping up the fear in the viewer base just to get them to come back the next day. It's kind of a, a sad commentary on the state of news today in the world. Um, and so the story being told, really, it's not caring so much about getting to the action as it is just telling the, the slow story of, of Bloom and the studio feeding off each other and Bloom's rise to, um, to notoriety, to, to power in the Nightcrawler world. It's fascinating and fantastically sleazy. I found Hall's Bloom to be enthralling to watch. I, I can't imagine the character was easy to play. I mean, everything he says sounds like corporate marketing speak come to life. It's unnatural just a little bit off, like he doesn't really know how to relate to honest, actual humans. Um, but, but Gyllenhaal really sells it, and every, every time you see his face, um, you, you can really see behind his eyes that he's sort of looking at everyone, trying to figure out how he can use everything around him to the best effect. Um, it's really a performance worth watching. I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Of course, as much as I think this is a fantastic movie, and I really kind of want to see it again, it's not going to be for everyone. Um, Bloom, Louis Bloom, is just flawed. He's wrong at his core. And the things that he does, um, and not so much the things that he does, because I've seen worse in other films, it's how he reacts to them and how he does them that, that really kind of, I found disturbing deep in my gut. And um, that's going to turn off a number of folks, I'm sure. And then there's also the way it's filmed. Uh, I thought it was filmed well, but it has this this sort of meditative, slow pacing uh, going on that's not going to be for everyone, especially the more action-oriented folks. But um, if you want just this, this really intriguing, slowly paced, sleazy story, then, then this film is for you. Uh, go see it, enjoy it. Um, at the very least, you know, see it on DVD, but I, I say it's worth the ticket price. Anywho, until next time, folks. Enjoy film.